Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Um, still working through the cusp baby readings. I just did the weekly top and bottom, so I gotta put stuff away from that while I talk. Okay. Cancer Leo cusp babies. The dates for that are in the description box of this video. If your birthday happens to fall outside of those dates and this reading resonates with you, that's fine too. <laughs> Pretty much if it resonates, it's yours. Just wanted to make that clear. Felt like I had to make that clear. Okay, but... Uh, where was I? If it resonates, take it. If not, leave it. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and still maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. If you're a cross-watcher up in here watching a cusp baby reading, you are taking... The extra steps to try to figure out an extremely complicated person, and I give you props for real. If you're new, think we might vibe, think you might want to hang out, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Why did I leave that out? I don't know. <laughs> if you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping back by. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who may need the messages. Feel free to leave a comment. They are opened back up. As long as people aren't being jerks, I'll leave them open. You guys got the Ten of Pentacles. We're just going to hop right into this. Definitely some abundance coming in. I like it so far. You're healing. Money's looking good, but you're healing from something. Your challenge is processing the emotions that go along with something. Okay. The Emperor, the Knave of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. You're large and in charge. Money's good. We're getting control of the situation, doing your healing. I'll talk about that in a minute. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. You are still in decision mode about something. Communication, communication, communication. There was anxiety. Wow. Lots of information here. I gotta tip down though. Totally forgot to tip down. Probably should have lit some sage back up. It's fine. All right. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Ace of Wands into the Two of Wands. Yes, something new is getting started. Something new is getting started. It's putting you in a place of having to make a decision. Okay, talk to me about this Emperor card. Talk to me about the Emperor for Cancer Leo. Could be an Aries. Mm, two of Cups into the Three of Cups. You're large, you're in charge, you're like boss material. Somebody sees that. One more. Knight of Wands into the Queen of Wands. Someone wants forward movement. Mm, it is the Knight of Wands though. Probably why it's the two into the three. Possibly sex based. Queen of Swords into the King of Swords. Maybe not. Maybe not. Give 
Either you're going to want to know the truth of the matter or somebody's going to want to know the truth of the matter. Sizing somebody up. Four of Wands into the Five of Wands. Do I want to open this door if there's going to be a conflict? Okay. You're dealing with enough crap right now. You're healing. Your money's looking good. You're large and in charge. Knave of Pentacles. What's up with this Knave of Pentacles? That's a little bit of the offer. Knight of Swords into the Queen of Swords. True, honest offer. Somebody who's been looking at you for a while, maybe. Maybe they're sizing you up, too. Let's move slow and steady. I don't want to give you too much too soon. But I'd like to get something started. Here's my pentacle. Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. And a whole lot of little something something. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely some fire up in here, y'all. Definitely some fire up in here. Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords. There's going to be lots of talking. Lots of talking. Decision time. Nine of Cups. One of this Nine of Cups. High Priestess into the Empress. Being led and guided to something that's going to help you grow. Nice. Nice. But again, there's a lot of unanswered questions. The potential is there. Five of Cups into the Six of Cups. There's emotions to be processed before you can get to that Tenth Cup. And that's got to happen inside of you. Somebody cannot come in and do that for you just to make that perfectly clear. That's got to happen within you. That can't come from somebody else or something else. So if you're still weighing, and you're still standing at the crossroads, and you haven't picked a path yet, okay. You got time. Take things slow. You're still processing. You're still healing. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. I sense baggage. I sense baggage. Why the Nine of Swords? Oh my gosh. Okay. Lovers reversed into the chariot reversed. You didn't get picked. A chariot stopped dead in its tracks. There was a disconnect. Led to anxiety. A lot of sleepless nights. Six of coins into the seven of coins. Five of Wands into the Six of Wands. You got through it. You had patience with yourself. There was a conflict. But you rose up out of it. Why the Queen of Cups? That's self-love. Maybe there was unanswered questions because you invested a lot of time and you thought things were fine and then all of a sudden they weren't fine. Five of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Magician. High Priestess, Ace of Wands, Six of Swords. You rose up out of it. You did what was best for you. You released the burden. Went off to start something new. Allowed yourself to be led and guided. Knowing you had the tools to move forward. I like it. And you got this beautiful, wonderful cup. I think you tried to hand it to someone over here. I feel like this was still processing when you did this. I think you hadn't quite left this behind you yet. As I look at this, you see this? You 
you tried to hand someone a cup that they weren't ready for. Why the four cups? Six of Swords into the Seven of Swords. Page of Wands into the Knight of Wands. Mm, bandits, 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 bandits. Seven of Cups in the Eight of Cups. Band-Aid. Tried to hand your cup to the wrong person. Recycle repeats itself over and over again. Three of cups into the four of cups at the bottom of the deck. You did not re release your baggage. You gotta take things slow. Leo, you're a fire sign. I get it. So if you're on the Leo side of this cup, I get it. Totally get it. You have to take things slowly. You have to learn the art of self-soothing. Yeah. Reading! Yeah. Babysitter's here. Okay. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Talk to me about the Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords into the Ten of Swords, yes. There's a lot of anxiety about this new offer. Because you're still putting something to an end. You see that? You're still processing. And you're still anxious. You have to clear your head. Clear your mind. Seven of Swords into the Eight of Swords. Size this up for what it is. But don't assume that it's going to be somebody that's just going to screw you over again and put you all up inside your head. You have to take things slowly. That's what Pentacle Energy is all about. Exactly. Eight of Swords into the Nine of Swords. It's reversed. Size it up. See what's up. Get hip to it, yo. Get hip to it. Don't get all up inside your head. Talk. Communicate. Play with it. Have fun. Why the Naval Wands? It doesn't have to get serious. They don't all have to get serious, Cancer Leo Cuspers. It doesn't have to get serious. Enjoy it. Sun reversed, judgment reversed. The hermit into the wheel. It doesn't have to get serious, but at the same time, you have to find that inner light within yourself and allow things to close out before you open your doors. Seven of coins and the eight of coins work on you. Have patience with the process and work on you. Me moonology. Me moonology. Look at the bigger picture. I like it. Me wisdom. Go with the distance. I still like it. Four plus seven is eleven. One plus one is two. Eleven. Dreams come true. Two. Decisions to be made. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Could be a Sagittarius involved. Something could have went down during the full moon in Sagittarius. And even though I ask for messages for January into February, it might not play out until the next full moon in Sagittarius. I don't know. I'm just reading cards, guys. I'm just reading cards. I'm just having a good time. Uh, 
Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over... Minute can be counterproductive. Or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's a good thing, while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you see? What do you then see about your current situation? Sorry. What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings, even if you don't have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. Did anybody else catch how that ties in? I did. I did. I did. Number 47. Go the distance. Endurance. Strength. The long haul. The long haul. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone, your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Okay, friends. Have a heck of the rest of your January and the first part of your February. I will catch you guys in about a month for your next reading. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light. Take care now.